Hi, I'm Ben Bredigan with in Depth Outdoors, and today we're at the 2013 Minnesota Muskie Expo. We're going to be looking at new products, things that catch my eye, and other developments in Midwest muskies. So stay tuned, it should be a good show. Well, we're here at the Muskie Mayhem booth with Drake from Muskie Mayhem Tackle. And we're talking about the new Trolling Girl, which is just released for this year. Drake, can you tell us a little bit about the yep, trolling girl? Absolutely. What we did, guys, is we actually beefed up our cowgirl model. We made it a little longer. We went heavier duty wire, and then we put a, wa a plastic washer in there, heavier blades, heavier weight. Well, now, what this does is this bait is specifically designed for trolling big waters, you know, shallow water, deep water, whatever you kind of want to do um, for when you want to catch those big muskies. Um, it comes in five different colors, so if you do uh, have those other colors that you want, um, it's always there for another option. Um, it'll be available at most stores for your 2013 season. Here with Tom Wartman from Big Mama Muskie Lures, and Tom, I hear you have something new out for uh, the 2013 season. Is that true? Yeah, I do, Ben. Um, this year we're coming out with the Ding Bat. It's got custom um, blades in the middle here. Uh, two blades with a spacer between them. This thing really, really dings. And also, if you pick up the pace on this. Uh, start a faster retrieve, the hook will come back and ding the blades. Well, one of the first lures I owned when I was a youngster was your Walk the Dog one. That was like one of my oh, yeah. first experiences. The, experience. big, mama. the <laughs> big Mama. So since I started using the Big Mama, I've got on the Twisted Sister bandwagon and the Psycho, Psycho Sister. Sister and the Dirty Bee. Yeah, it's been great. So I look forward to more good things. Thanks, Tom. Thanks, Ben. Here at Rubber Harry Tackle. And we were just walking by and these things caught my eye. The first thing that honestly caught my eye was the paint scheme on this. What does that look like? Looks like an eel pod to me and being a guy who fishes Leech Lake a lot, that looks mighty enticing. And when I picked them up, they immediately felt a little bit lighter. So I could see this practical for shallow water applications. Uh, this one earlier in the year, you know, tossing over some of those shallow rocks and should be a good deal. Here with John from VIO. What we have here is a, uh, looks like the muskie fisherman's best friend here. Not only can we get pictures of the muskies now, but we're going to have them on video. And I can say there's some really cool features going on here. So we'll have John tell us a little bit more about uh, this VIO for the muskie angle. You know, you're a muskie fisherman, so am mm -hmm. I. At the end of the day, all we have to walk away with is a photo. Yep. Uh, the fish go back. And that's the ones we catch, but I think both you and I could probably testify there's more follows, there's more misses. Yeah, I've lost my fair share of fish, that's for sure. Yep. So this is, you know, this is why the POV camera has become a staple of the muskie community because, you know, at the end of the day, all we're walking home with is a photo. And, and this allows you to bring all those boat side strikes, blow ups, misses, the figure eights. Mm -hmm. Allows us to tell a little bit more of our story. So our system has got some a feature set that's just custom made for the way we fish and the way we film. Mm -hmm. and, and the biggest part of that is the system's got a unique feature that's perfect for the guy that's spending a large volume of time punctuated with little short bursts of action. Mm -hmm. So instead of going home at the end of the day and reviewing eight hours of footage, you can all actually set this up to re record just this stuff. Well, if you're at the show, be, be sure to stop by VIO and check out this POV camera. Now we're here at the Redhead Lure Company, and this is a thing that is going to win zero points for style. Uh, but I'll tell you what, this is one of the hottest musky lures I've seen on the market in the last year. Uh, it's called the Coot, and what it does is essentially you have your twin, twin 10 blades, just like uh, you know, any of your cowgirls, etc. But it's got this contraption on the front, and what it does is it keeps the lure on top of the water, and essentially it's like bulging a bucktail, but you're always bulging a bucktail. And you can troll them, you can cast them, I and this fish is, you know, it's accounted for a few fish in my boat last year, so if you're at the show, be sure to stop by here and pick one of these things up. So we're here with Ryan from McMahon's Muskie Guide Service, and you know, all these baits, all this stuff, rods, reels, getting ready for the next season, and we're almost forgetting what we're actually here for is muskie fishing, and you know, we only got about two months before the season, so let's talk a little musky fishing. Ryan, what do you foresee on the front for the summer? Well, uh, if winter ever ends, um, I think it's going to be kind of a slow start. Um, maybe uh, I'm, I'm going to be targeting some stained water and stuff like that, I think, a little bit more. 
probably leave the clear water alone. Um, we'll just have to see. We'll have to see what it brings. I think there'll probably be a good top water bite, maybe with slower moving baits, stuff like that. Um, just excited to get out there. What's your go-to bait here right when that uh, season opens? Um, I like smaller bucktails. I like rubber right off the bat too. Um, sometimes I'll back off a little bit off of weed lines and stuff and keep rubber, even like tubes or more erratic stuff, and keep it up high in the water, you know, where fish are kind of hanging in the warmer surface area, surface water. Um, so I'd probably have to say uh, uh, maybe rubber or tubes. I think tubes yeah. are going to be a good deal this year. We sort of stop down and talk with this guy, he knows a lot of stuff. and. If you want to get on the water with them, here's this is the time to do it. You got a special going? Yeah, we're running some uh, some special uh, uh, show rates right now. So uh, you book anything this weekend, and uh, we'll take care of you. Here at Thorn Brothers, and if you know if you're looking for a good deal, this is one of the places to go. Uh, this is one of the deals they have going right now. Is you can buy any lure. If you buy five of them, you'll get the six for free. So. You can mix match anything you want. Also, another good deal I saw is they have 10% off all of the Lorenz HDS, 20% off rods, and 10% uh, off reels. So, if you're looking, like I said, if you're looking for a good deal, Thorn is one of the places to stop. I hope you enjoyed our short highlight of the Minnesota Muskie Expo. The good thing about this is we've got two more days of it. It runs April 5th through the 7th. And if you're a guy who likes teeth and slime, this is a place you want to be.